Hey everybody, so today we are here with Justin Wandors, going through the preventative maintenance of it. I'm here with Rio, who's our fire door expert. Hey guys. We got Drew holding the camera, say hey. Hello. All right, I had to pull in the whole crew here because I'm not knowledgeable about this stuff as these guys are. So, but um, one thing we learned, we were actually going through our preventative maintenance uh, drawings and things like that, the, the maintenance manual for this door and realize there's actually a quarterly preventative maintenance that we're supposed to be doing on it. So we wanted to go ahead and get this information out there, show everybody the things we're supposed to be doing on a quarterly basis. We all know you're supposed to test it annually um, because it's a fire door, falls under an FDA 80, but we wanted to do show you the quarterly preventative maintenance side of it as well. So uh, we're not gonna go through the annual, which you know we've got, we've got a couple smoke takers, one, two, that's what closes these doors for us. Um, it's in an atrium for us, so that's why we have to have them separate those spaces. Let's jump over here. Um, we're in a busy area, so we're gonna try to try to keep things going, keep keep things quiet as well. But to open it, so this door is behind for us. It's got a fake door that pops open. Um, but to open it, there's a little rocker switch, and we'll show it here in a second. But it's got a little rocker switch, so you got to reach back in there when it's all the way open um, and open it. We'll show you. So the first thing you do, open it, and let it close all the way. We're going through you got to make sure that it fully seals inside the track because this is a sensor right here all right okay so you also want to test your push to open button There's a few of those so we're not going to go through each of them but test make sure it fully opens just like that it should have a minimum of 36 inches clear i think is what the manual says um when you're in an alarm when that smoke detector is in alarm it's going to close this back so it's not an alarm right now so um you also need to test to make sure when you're closing the door, you're supposed to test the system. Make sure it stops. That's to prevent it from hurting somebody in case in case it's closing it. Okay. So um, while it's fully open, you also got to check the seals. Just remember, this is a fire door. So looking down here, let's see if we got any tears or anything like that. All right. Let's, let's let Rio out. <laughs> let Rio out of his cage. There we go. All right. And then. We got another one. We got this one already pulled out. So uh, back here, you're gonna see all of the components and everything. Part of what you gotta do is you gotta get a ladder. You gotta get up, you see the chain? Get up there, make sure the chain is oiled in the track all the way. Uh, make sure that, that you got, and it says specifically lithium chain oil and lithium grease on, um, on the gear as well. Um, and again, you can see here, we've got our fire alarm relay. I think uh, how it actually closes in the event of alarm. And we've got a battery down here. So batteries, you know, um, this, is, this actually isn't addressed in the manual. Uh, so we're looking for it, but we're gonna test it quarterly. We're gonna do the same thing. So um, making sure all of these components are, are good, that it's clear, the frame is clear, everything is greased. Um, you can see here, we'll show how these lock back into place. So you've got little holes here runs through and it'll lock it back in to hold it from coming out like it's supposed to. Uh, what am I missing, guys? Um, we get everything? I think we about covered it. Cool. So, until next time, happy learning.